What's up guys, Max here, and as before we had a little bit of an online impressions video uh, going over the basic infrastructure, how the game feels online, and stuff like that. So I wanted to give you guys some full blown out uh, online ranked games, so um, getting into, before we get into some of these ranked games, I'm going to try to give you guys a little bit of tips as far as Marvel vs. Capcom for some of you guys that might be having issues with the game, and uh, hopefully it'll help you out, but I want to give you a little bit of my personal history and why this game I think is uh, important to me. So. Early when I was growing up, I was about like 12, 13, maybe 14 years old, and uh, the big arcade game that everyone played was Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Like, absolutely everybody played this game, and there were always huge lines around it. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't have much time to spend in the arcades because I lived up in the freaking mountains of California, and I cherished every moment I had to spend in arcades as a kid. And any little money that I saved up, I essentially went to the arcade and spent it learning how to play with an arcade stick. Uh, this was back when I played everything for fighting games major major uh, for the majority at home, and I was just used to playing with a PlayStation controller, and learning how to play with an arcade stick is very rough. Uh, that is where I learned how to use an arcade stick properly, and how to do, like, you know, the memorization of where the buttons are on the pad and not missing the buttons and stuff like that, because that happens a lot. Um, then you eventually get it, and I had a lot of fun playing against all these dudes. Like, essentially, like, the arcade that I went to was in the, um, Valencia Mall in Southern California, and it was called Tilt. Uh, it's long gone now. That, that entire part of the mall has actually been completely demolished and replaced with something else. But it was, uh, some amazing memories, and Marvel vs. Capcom was the biggest game for a very long time until one day, lo and behold, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was all of a sudden there, and, uh, that game became even bigger. So, uh, my personal history with this game is that this was actually my very first competitive game, like properly competitive. I put a lot of time into it, a lot of money, uh, entered tournaments, and yeah, I just, I could not, I could not get as much from this game. Like, it was uh, certain characters in this game that really had it. Like, the roster was like the best of any fighting game to date at the time when this game came out. And uh, characters like Strider Hiryu, I'd never even heard of before uh, since the first Marvel vs. Capcom. And then I later went on to figure out that he's like, you know, an old Genesis and Super Nintendo character. I'm sorry, Genesis and NES character from uh, early Capcom days. And I never played Strider at all, the original, until I uh, found, him out, found out about him in this game. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much spawned my love for the character completely. And from that point forward, he's just like one of my favorite characters in, in Capcom fighting games. So, yeah, this, this game's got quite a bit of a personal attachment to myself. And I really like the system in itself. Granted, I'll let you guys know right now, a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom at high competitive level is pretty busted. There are some extremely busted things with certain characters, and it'll take you a while to get through the nuances of this game. There's a lot of stuff with, like, push blocking, and there's a lot of stuff with how you use your assists and how you space your attacks that is really important to figure out. Um, so let's get into some of the tips of Marvel vs. Capcom. First thing, first and foremost, if you guys are going to be using assists, some of the best assists in the game include the, are, are included of Psylocke, of uh, Lou. Lou is really good, but he's not amazing. And Colossus. Colossus is one of the best assists in this game. And almost everyone just uses Colossus. you got to assume that you're going to have a Colossus type of assist in this game and that your opponent will as well. It's just kind of the way it goes. So Colossus, what he does is he comes in from the side and he juggles your opponent to the other side and it gives you a really good opportunity, if that hits, to do something like a super, like a full screen blasting super to get a lot of good damage out of it. And a lot of characters have that opportunity to do so or dash forward to follow up with a combo. Uh, doing things like quick dashes, like wave dashes in this game, can be a bit difficult. Here's some of the here's some of the cheapness in this game, just to let you guys know. There are some very easy infinite combos in this, but they can be a little difficult to do online. Uh, but nonetheless, things like things like wave dashing can be a little bit difficult because you have to press all three top uh, or three punches to attack. I'm sorry, to dash, and then you press down to cancel it. It's, uh, it's hard for me. For some reason, I have to get used to the timing once again, because Marvel vs. Capcom's timing is a lot different than uh, a lot of the other versus games. Even X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes, uh, it's, it's, this game's a lot different because of how assists work and how character movement is. But uh, it's a very smooth and fluid game. Another thing that I can let you know that I totally forgot about this title is that certain things like jump in attacks, when, when you jump in and you hit a guy with like a normal attack, this game, it has almost no block stun. Like, you can almost immediately attack after if somebody is doing a jump and attack and you block it and they don't follow it up with something. Which is why a lot of jump and attacks, you jump in with a light attack and then go into a medium instead of jumping in with a heavy attack like you would in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 series. Wow, Captain Commando is going to get woofed by Captain America here. 
Um, but yeah, this, there's a lot of weird nuances in this game. Don't rapidly push block in this game, you'll only get yourself killed. Uh, that, that is a very nasty habit from a game like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is because push blocking is only used as a positional advantage. It does not negate chip damage in this game. There is no magic pixel. This game, if you, if you push block too much, especially in the air, you will guard cancel yourself out of an opportunity and you won't be able to block. Essentially what guard canceling is, is this, is this ability in the versus games or this unique trait in the versus games where if you push blocked or you guard you guard an attack in the air you're in a falling state after and during that falling state you actually cannot block so if you end up push blocking that actually holds your character in the air for a brief period of time if you push block in the air and during that falling that, that falling sequence it gives them an opportunity to kick your butt here's a crazy like crossover attack where both of us activated at the same time and did not go in my favor that stuff will happen a lot that's the next thing I wanted to get into. Learn the different system mechanics in this game, not just assists. When it comes to um, the different the different types of usage with like the team stuff, if you do fireball forward with heavy punch and heavy kick, you get a double team attack, which isn't that great. They're not they're not that useful considering that with level two and level three you can go into the crossover uh, crossover team attack. I forget actually what it's what it's called, but it's where both your characters come on the screen at the same time. To control it, you get you get control of your main point character, and that's the one that with the directional input. So if you see that one character is doing something, you're controlling them both at the same time. Just do the motion for the other one while one character is doing their hyper, and their hyper will come out as well. That makes it a lot easier to understand. That's one of the most powerful attacks in this game. Like straight up, if you have the meter to do it, there's a lot of a lot of chances if you're fighting up against anybody like that isn't amazing at this game, it'll it'll take them out because it's really fast, it's really effective. And a lot of teams can make really good use of it. Like Gambit and Strider are ridiculous. Like they Gambit can lock you up with the Kinetic Card Super or Royal Flush, and then Strider can go with Ouroboros, and they can just repeat it until they're dead. Uh, it's it's crazy. Characters like uh, a Gold War Machine and Regular War Machine take huge advantage of this with their huge missile firing super. There's other stuff as well. A lot of character synergy in that in that department. But um, like, like I was saying earlier, if you guys want to quickly get good at this game, learn how to use your assists and how to select assists. Uh, Colossus is a very good bet. Psylocke is another extremely good bet. And if you want to choose Colossus at, your, at the character selection screen, if you guys had not watched Retro Assist Me where I go over this, you press, uh, I think it's Light Punch, Medium Punch, and Medium Kick, and Start. And you'll get Colossus as long as you hit all those buttons in that time frame. So... This game is is going to be difficult for a lot of people to get into if you're just if you've only played Marvel vs. Capcom, but it's a much different style of fighter. But in my opinion, I really like the system of this game. Sure, it's got some broken stuff, but to be honest, what fighting game doesn't have broken stuff? And most most of the fighting games that have broken stuff are some of the most popular fighting games around. So I can't really argue that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, a few ranked games, and a couple of tips and suggestions on how to uh, do a little bit better in Marvel vs. Capcom. Let me know what you think of the video and what you think of the game. My name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys next time.